Welcome back YouTube. This is Dave Lucas with Injection Molding Skills and more. Today's video we're going to go over process window. I have a sheet that got a formula on it that tells you how to actually go step by step on how to do a process window on your press. So I'm hoping that you'll be able to see the, the steps and do it on your own. I'm going to try to put the sheet, the spreadsheet itself, at the end of the video down below to where you guys can actually download it for yourselves to try it out and see how you guys like so i hope i am able to do the video good by showing you the steps to do um the picture might not be that good to where i can zoom in on certain things but i'm going to try to the best i can okay it's beautiful out here today look 85 degrees out here in florida so very beautiful out so okay well i'm gonna go ahead and get to the video okay guys okay so here is actually the process sheet that you'd work with okay so what you'd start off with you have your job the job number that you're putting in there the part number the press that you're running it in the material tryout date and if you want you can put the operator in there okay so <clears throat> the, the purpose of this is okay is to determine how much variation there can be with regards to pressure and temperature and still obtain an acceptable part okay that's what this procedure goes over okay so it's going to be basically pack pressure and process temperature you're going to be your two main things you're going to use okay so to start off you're, what you're going to do is you're going to begin by attempting by attempting to process acceptable parts okay that'll be number one number two use the apparent viscosity curve spreadsheet to obtain the fill viscosity so if you go back a couple videos back that i had you can see a viscosity curve how to do a viscosity curve okay number three the pack pressure and process temperature are the two main parameters for this test okay like i said those are going to be your two main ones that you're going to use number four lower the process temperature to the material supply the lowest recommended recommended settings so what you're going to do is you're going to get the material spreadsheet that the supplier sends you and it'll have what the lowest temperature you can run and the highest temperature you can run most of the time you always try to stay in the middle number five lower the pack pressure to an acceptable range okay so that means lower it down as low as possible where you're still able to fill the part out okay number six record the pack pressure on the table to the left okay so you're looking at your table here this is you got one through 20 samples okay you're going to take your pack pressure the minimum and you're going to put that pressure in here okay number seven examine the parts produced during that shot to determine if it is an acceptable part okay you're going to look in right here if it's acceptable you'll put yes if it's not then you're going to put no okay all the way down number eight record yet i'm getting ahead of myself record yes for record y for yes and n for no in the column titled acceptable quality parts number nine gradually increase the pack pressure okay and a lot of people say pack it's pack or hold okay so don't get confused on it okay number 10 allow the machine to stabilize one or two shots so what they're saying is, is they want you to do one or two shots before you make another change okay so don't make a change and then try to get the next shot wait a couple shots then get the next shot number 11 once machine has stabilized examine parts produced to determine acceptable again okay number 12 
Record Y for yes or N for no in the column titled acceptable parts quality, okay? Number 13, repeat these procedures until acceptable parts have been produced in a series of not acceptable parts have been produced as a result of high pack pressure. Okay, so what they're saying is continue all the way down until you get all the way, you're, you're increasing all the time. So if you look on here, they're going 25 increments, 700, 725, 750, 770. They're doing all that all the way down there, telling you if the parts are good or not. <clears throat> okay, number 14, increase process temperature to material suppliers maximum recommended settings so that now you're going to do it over here to the maximum settings here okay lower your pack pressure to obviously unacceptable range okay that is number 15. number 16 record pack pressure on the table to the left number 17 examine the parts produced during the shots to determine if it is acceptable parts is an acceptable part number 18 record yes y for yes or n for no in the column title acceptable quality parts 19 gradually increase the pack pressure so they're still going up 25 increments is what they're going up on this side okay so like i said you have the minimum here you're doing this would be the maximum you're doing okay so number 20 allow the machine to stabilize one or two shots so they're telling you again re refreshing you make sure you make a change wait a couple shots then take your sample once machine has stabilized examine parts produced to determine acceptability okay number 22 record y for yes or n for uh no to column title acceptable parts <clears throat> and then the last one right here number 23 it says repeat these procedures until acceptable parts have been produced and a series of acceptable parts have been produced as a result of high pack pressure okay remember the pack pressure is either pack or hold that's what you're looking at okay results down here at the very bottom okay so it says this calculation provides a graphical respond responsitation of an acceptable process window for a particular material tool or part design this graph helps explain the impact of variation in pro uh, pressure and temperature will have on obtaining a stable injection okay so if you look right here, you have you have first acceptable part, and it gives you the range of the bat, of the pressure and the temperature. Okay, so if you're looking at it, you can see first acceptable part, last acceptable part, the range, and then you got your high and low right here for your pressures. Okay, if you go down below, these are your minimums. So this is your temperature. So so this is your temperature. This is the high of the temperature, so 325 to 475. The range is 150, okay? Then you have down here, you have your process low and your high. So then you go over here, these are your transfer values from the table above. The first and last acceptable parts within the minimum process temperature and the first and last acceptable part within the maximum process temperature. Okay, so what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to put this sheet together and, you know, put it at the very bottom of my video so you guys can see it. This is a sheet that I got a long time ago. Um, let me, oops, sorry. That I got a long time ago from um, RJG, going to RJG school. So... I hope this helps you guys out as far as a processing window. Um, I don't use it a lot. Um, I use like the viscosity curve. I use the gate freeze. I do the cavity balance studies. 
um, dynamic check ring studies, um, and then I do the capability study on the machine itself, what the machine can actually do or not do. Um, <coughs> but I hope this helps you guys out and lets you guys see a little bit about what what the process window is. Um, like I said, I don't use it that often, but I hope this video gives you guys an understanding of what a process window is, okay? So please stay tuned in the next couple videos. I'm gonna try to get a video out once a week. Um, it would be nice really to all you guys out there. So please stay tuned. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.